In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can become great at practicing. Let's look at the problem from low resolution to high resolution. Low means from a macro. How much hours can you practice per day? If you do one and your best friend is doing three, you shouldn't be surprised when he plays better. More is usually a good thing. Let's increase the resolution. How do you plan to practice? We have one and a half hours. Do you just play through the whole piece? Or are you practicing just one bar until you can play it? There are two scenarios that you can find yourself in. Here's the rule I follow for scenario one. If you can play something very well, don't practice it anymore. Play it once per day, that's it. The idea is that you waste time practicing something that does work already. There's another part that needs this time. For example, we had our semester league concert in our class a few weeks back. Everyone has to play around 30 minutes of operas on the piano. That's around 70 pages. If you practice all of them every day, you will get stuck on page 11. I started to practice from the beginning most of the time, doesn't matter where you start. This was when I could already play most of it. I played as far as I came, feeling safe. When I messed up, I repeated. If I thought it was a difficult part, even if I didn't mess up, I went more to death and practiced the part. Just the part that was difficult and not too long. Scenario 2. When you start from scratch with a new piece, it looks different. Here's what I do. On the first day, I try to play around 5 minutes of music. Depending on which instrument, it will be a different amount of pages. For me, it's usually 10 pages because piano reductions or scores have just very few bars per side. So I try to play every page or half page twice or three times right behind each other. If you have more than 5 rows per page, don't play through the whole page. Play 5 rows, repeat them twice. Do this with the next 5 rows, repeat until you have around 5 minutes of music. If there is a particularly difficult part, you can practice it, but I wouldn't go too much in detail on that one. Why are we doing this, trying to get through a lot of pages? There are a few reasons. First of all, you get the sense of what is difficult and what is not. So basically you get an overview about the first 5 minutes. The longer the music and the notes are in your hands, the better you will be able to play them. While we're not practicing, I think that our brains process the training session. And because this compounds, I would try to learn more in a shorter time before going too much into depth. On the second day, I would try to go into depth with the more difficult parts of the five minutes from yesterday, at least play everything once. Don't try to learn all 70 pages at the same time. When you can play the first 10 pretty well, take the next 10. As I said, for most people, five minutes of music will be more like one or a few pages based on the layout of the sheet music. Every other point you can find yourself in will be somewhere between starting from scratch and being able to play something pretty well. What do you do when you find yourself in one of those? You can transition from practicing few but with a lot of depth to going more broadly and just practicing the more difficult parts in depth. Maybe have an A and B day. On day one you go in depth with the first 10 pages and play the other 10 just once but still repeat parts where you mess up. On the next day do the other 10 in depth, you get the point. If it's a particularly nasty piece, here's what I do. The first time playing it is like I mentioned earlier, going through around 10 pages. On the second day, I set a time and practice every row for 5 minutes. Trust me, it's gonna be the longest 5 minutes of your life. Let's recap. If you're here, you can play most of it, then don't spend too much time on the little things. If you're here and you can't play it at all, practice a few pages but more in depth. Let's go even more high resolution, practicing a specific part. When I was young, my father used to practice with me. He often went, okay, we're going to play this 20 times now. That's not a bad approach, but let's make it more specific. We're talking about one row you cannot play. Do you think playing it 10 times slowly would solve the problem? Yes? Great, do it. If it's even too difficult for this, make the section smaller. Take just one bar. Too difficult? Do two beats. Play 10 times in slow motion and then try to get it faster. If you can get it nearly to concert speed, great. Do this with the next two beats, then put them together and play them 20 times again. Do the same with the next two bars if you need it and put them together. Most of the time you don't need to do this. Time is your friend. If you get something to work at slow motion without mistakes, I wouldn't go too much more into death because the next day you will be able to play it anyway, even without making yourself crazy today. So you could practice many more pages in total. I think most of you have experienced this already. You practice something on one day, but nothing works. You come back the next day and you somehow can play whatever piece you've been struggling with. It's like magic, but in reality, it's probably just how our brains process complex physical movements. We have to trust the process. I do it all the time and I know it's scary, especially if a concert is close. One thing I want to mention, if I haven't made it clear, you should go in depth with whatever is not working. If there's something in a piece you cannot play, you won't be able to perform the piece at all. This is the basic practice framework that I use, but there are way more problems that can occur. For example, it is better to practice every day of the week for 20 minutes than for two hours on just one day. Why? 
As I mentioned, our brains need time to process these complex movements and when playing an instrument, I think the most process occurs within the first 24 hours. That's why you have to stimulate your brain with the movements more regularly. When you practice two hours, but just on one day, there's just one possibility of your brain learning. Imagine you want to build muscle. You don't hit a muscle every three weeks once. No, you try to hit it two or three times per week. After the workout, the muscle is damaged and grows for a certain time over the normal amount. If there's no next stimulus, the muscle will get smaller again. Practice more regularly. The next problem is mindless repetition. If you mess something up and you repeat it, you have to actively search for a way to make the next repetition better. How? Most of the time when you play a mistake, something is either too difficult and it needs more slow repetitions, or you haven't understood it yet and you make the same mistake over and over again. The solution? Use your brain. For example, on the piano, you always jump in the wrong direction. Your first move, just try it again and it will fix itself. No. Realize? Ah, okay, I'm going into the wrong direction. Next time you play it, just focus on this one thing. Whatever else happens, no matter how much you mess up, you jump in the right direction. Otherwise, you train yourself to make the mistake over and over again. This works for every instrument. To recap, here are the most common practice mistakes. Just playing through the whole piece, not playing slow and making too many mistakes, not playing enough fast, you have to increase the tempo at some point, Try to find the sweet spot between too slow and starting to make too harsh mistakes. What can help is to practice shorter parts. Most of the time you will be able to tolerate a higher tempo then. The next common mistake, not practicing the most difficult parts the most, not using your brain, not listening to yourself or not being actively concentrated, just playing notes, not music. I made a complete video about topics like this. If you don't know these things, this video was a waste of time because just playing notes is not making music at all. Check it out, you won't regret it. Thanks for watching and we see you on the next one.